Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Keandra and today is a product review. I will be reviewing Shea Moisture's Power Greens line. I'll tell you how I felt about it, how it worked on my hair, and if it's something that I would repurchase again. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the product. This is the product. This is their Power Greens line. So to tell you a little bit about it, it has Moringa and avocado with kale as well as matcha and green algae. All of these are amazing superfoods and this is probably for me the first product that I have found that has these ingredients in them together. I'm sure there may be more out there but I just haven't seen any but this is their shampoo. It is a moisturizer and it nourishes. It is for weak, dull, curly, and coily hair. So this is a no sulfates shampoo, no animal testing, as well as no mineral oil. So my first impression of this shampoo was that it was very light. Most of the shampoos I use are very, very thick, but this one is very different. It almost feels like a, a conditioner that's more milky. So I would try and show you the texture, but let's see if you can see it. Hopefully you can see that. I'm gonna pour it so you can see just how, not watery, but it's not thick. It's like a milk. So that was surprising, which I actually liked because I figured that it would be easier to lather and work into my hair. So for some shampoos, sometimes you have to use it twice in order for your hair to lather. This one, once I put it in my hair, immediately it lathered. It smells very good. I almost only smell, it almost smells very rosy. I can't explain it, but there's obviously not roses in here, but it smells really good. I absolutely love this one. I would give it a 10 across the board. Okay, so the next one is, I guess you can consider it as the conditioner, but it is the Power Greens Reconstructor. So it is also for weak, dull, curly, and coily hair. Same ingredients. It's Power Greens mix, avocado oil, moringa oil, and similar to the shampoo, it actually also has like a thin, like milky texture. So let me try and pour it out so you can see it. So that's fairly rare, at least the conditioners that I use, but this conditioner or this reconstruct, I keep calling it a conditioner, I absolutely loved it. It really, I did not use a comb on my hair. Sometimes when I'm in the shower, I have to fingle detangle, but I'll then go in with the comb. I did not use a comb on my hair, not one time. I sat under the dryer with it and that even made it even better. It broke down my hair very good. It's very, very light. Now, I, I would say the same as with the the shampoo. It has like the same scent, even like the silkiness, the, the wateriness of it is really good is what I love. The only issue that I have, you can see the size. This is a, this is an eight ounce. For my hair, as you can see, I'm gonna show you how much I have in here. Hopefully you can see it without it. So that's well below half. And I use this one time. So I use a ton of conditioner because I have a ton of hair. And so for me, I would have to buy this twice a month, if not three times a month. And the price point, I believe is like 10 or $11, which is not too crazy for a conditioner, or in this case, I reconstruct. But for the amount I will use in my hair, that was the only negative for me. The shampoo I think would last longer, which is fine. Like I don't mind paying the price for the shampoo because a little bit even with the shampoo goes a long way. With both of the products, you don't need a lot, but for my hair, I just have a ton of hair. If I had to say would I use these again, I would absolutely use both of these again. The only thing that I do not like is the size of this bottle because this is literally one, maybe twice that this will be gone. Like I probably would have to purchase another one even my next time using it because this is not a lot of con conditioner. I keep saying conditioner, but it's a reconstruct. I would recommend both of these products to anyone. If you're having trouble finding a conditioner or in this case, a reconstruct that really breaks down your hair where you don't have to do a lot of detangling that you can literally 
glide your fingers through your hair this is really a good one the lightness and the small amount that it takes to even lather your hair for this shampoo is really really good so i would give both of these in a plus the only downside is the size of this um but if i love it enough i'll just have to break down and get maybe three bottles a month so that's all i hope you guys found this video helpful if you have tried these leave comments below be sure to like and subscribe if you have not and i also ask you to turn the notification bell on so that you are aware when i post new videos i post new videos every week as well as some giveaways so thank you guys for watching be sure to follow me on instagram and twitter at underscore naturally key and i will see you in my next video bye